Well, hello, Dirtfish Rally friends. Safari Rally Kenya is done and dusted for another year. And George Donaldson has just been, from start to finish, another incredibly entertaining edition of Safari Rally Kenya. Colin, just absolutely stunning. It's given us everything. A, a, a Thousand Lakes Rally race, uh, nail-bitingly tight times like a Swedish rally, and then horrible, tragic events like a Safari Rally. It's done everything. Well done, Safari Rally. Very, very well done, Safari Rally. It just, you know, it's so different. It's something quite unique in the calendar, and it delivers so, so much. George, in terms of driving, let's start. Let's start talking about today. Uh, once again, it stayed dry for yes, starters. Yes. We heard a lot of talk about rain beforehand. We saw the snorkels, which were great to see. I have yep. to say, we all enjoyed we seeing them it. on the we cars. They were, but they were used in places, yes. but not as we'd hoped they'd be used. No. Let's talk about, first up, clearly, the star of this rally. And there is one absolute shining bright star who, well, he wasn't just a level above everyone else, George. I think he was two or three levels above everyone else. The only driver to go through the whole rally without a single issue. His tyres were practically unmarked. His rims at the stage ends when we looked at them, not a scratch on them. Cali Rovenpera showed us the brilliance of that young man this week. He was just outstanding, George. It's, uh, it, it just can only remind you of the dominance of and, and ability of Sebastian Loeb and Sebastian Ogier in, in, in spades, even more so. And, and, and that is a remarkable thing for someone so young and relatively inexperienced. George, you know, you keep telling me that every aspect of the Safari Rally is about experience. Yes, the it is. Planning, yes. The planning, the logistics, it is. the wrecking, it is. getting here, driving yes. on the roads, it's about experience. Yes. Yet we have a 23-year-old. Uh, uh, he's got as much experience on this event as everyone else that he's competing against. And he's clocked it. He's, he's a he's clever, clever, isn't he? clever guy. And you know what, I think he's, he's doing the homework. He's doing the homework, he's figuring it out. He respects the sport, he comes from, you know, the Finns, they're very, very proud of their rallying. It's yeah. very important for them. Uh, more so, you know, nationally than anywhere else. Do you know what? He basically confirmed the point that you made to us earlier on in the week yesterday. Talked about the recce, the importance of mm. noting on the recce yep. where potentially, you can note the rocks, the big rocks, that's great, but it's where the potential jeopardy is. And he said, peripheral vision. Peripheral yeah. vision. And he's got it better than anyone. Yep. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Cali Robin Perra. Absolutely. This is what he told us at the end of the event. Really nice drive. Um, happy of what we have done, to be honest. Uh, managing rally like this from the, from the first stage to the last one uh, without any issues, um, I think we had, had to do something right. Six months. I think since your last win, isn't that is that about right? I don't I don't count, but it was too long for sure. Yeah, it was another magnificent event, you'd have to say, for Toyota because just behind Cali Rovenpera, I say just behind, quite well behind Cali Rovenpera, but a tremendous result, George, and we always have to contextualise results. You know, Takamoto Katsuta left Sweden deflated, doubting himself, yes. doubting himself, seriously doubting himself. He needed that six-week break just to reinvigorate his own personal being. Mm. And he's come back here, he's put in a tremendous performance. He's one that enjoys this event and again, knows how to get the best out of it. He does, he's a bit of an old hand at it now, in almost the same way as, as Cal is, in a strange way to say that. But he doesn't have that last little bit of patience. He doesn't have that <laughs> peripheral vision. Yeah. He, he doesn't have the, maybe the temerity to, yeah. to, to accept that you need to come back to go forwards. Uh, a little bit more humility in his approach, and, and he's not an arrogant man at all. No. Maybe, George, but he is so close, he yeah. clearly has something he here. Has That's it. three podiums out of Look, four here. He, he, is, he is absolutely brilliant at this event. He loves it, he embraces it. Yeah. I think he just has to embrace himself a little bit more. Yeah. You know, just accept the fact that it will come to him. Yeah. But he's, he's chasing it too hard, and Cali's not. I think you're and, right. And on this event, well, every single puncture we got was, was out on the edge of the road. You mm. know. The only one that I heard claim a puncture that wasn't out on the edge of the road was on the first stage from Esa Pekka. Oh, and Tanak. Right, Tanak as well. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Well, well, I tell you what, I, I take on board everything that George says, but at the end of the event, for sure, Takamoto Katsuta was a very, very happy man. Yeah, for sure. After the Sweden, I was really, really disappointed to myself, and this is why I really wanted to bring the good result here. Um, also, 
I knew that the car is very strong here, so I just I was just trusting the car will not break for sure. So just I was sacrificed the speed at some point, but still not uh, you know don't pan I didn't pan any panic just. Uh, through the stages and at uh, some point I push and some point I just throw down and it was working pretty well. For me also one of the biggest questions is why I have uh, such a good track here. Um, yeah, without track in this rally it's very difficult to take any results. So yeah, but like I said, one of the biggest thing is that we, we were able to trust the car. Well, George, Toyota, they build a car that survives the Safari, that is for sure. The last two editions, one, two, three, four, a one, two, Good result here, really good result. What about the third driver though, Elvin Evans? Struggled a bit out there this weekend. Well, he, he kind of, he, he tried to follow too much. I think that the, the temptation to follow that initial fight is what put him into that place. He was doing a great job, just punctures. Just again, out on the edge of the road, you cannot make those mistakes. It's, it is just such a fine line. Really fine line. Yeah. Do you know what though, Elvin Evans, Scoring points again, yep. that is the most important thing, scoring points. He has been outscored by Thierry Neuville in this yes. event, but scoring points still very much there. George, let's move on then to M Sport. M Sport Ford, unbelievable effort, I genuinely. Yes, the drivers aren't pushing that extra. What percentage is it? Half a percent? One percent maybe? I, think, I don't know. I think it's one, a good one, one and a half percent safety in there. But you watch them on the video, it looks as flat out as anybody. We can't tell the difference, Absolutely really. Absolutely not. Uh, but, you know, honestly speaking, Adrian did such an amazing such job. He kept it very, job. very clean. But it wasn't just Adrian. I was going to say there, the M Sport team, the car, yeah. you know, they went through some torrid times last year. They took a hell of a lot of flack from their lead driver, it's fair to say. And, you know, there were questions asked about the reliability of that car. All three of those cars, Cerderides, Munster and obviously for more in thirds, were faultless. Absolutely, absolutely. Just just that one uh, that one little mistake from, from Greg. Yeah. And, but that uh, wasn't the car. No, absolutely yeah, you know, not. No, no the, car, the car was solid, absolutely solid. It was quite an incredible performance from M Sport, yeah. and even more incredible performance from Formo. Oh, you know, I'm I'd have so to say, rewarded I'd have by to that. Say in yeah. my one, two, three, I did have him down for a podium, but I think I did about four one, two, threes. Uh, on one of so. them, on one of them, I definitely <laughs> had Adrian in second place. Oh. I, did you? I did, I did. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there was two podiums in a row. It's momentum, George. You've worked with enough young drivers. Mm. There is a tipping point in a driver's yeah. career where they go one way or the other. Yes. You know, they get to a level. Can they take Can that they step forward, that half step edge. forward that takes them into that elite group? Yeah. And it's all about self-confidence yeah, and self-belief. I believe that Formo mm. has taken that step now. Well, the, the, I 100% agree with you, Colin. The big indicator was for me when, when uh, after the, the, the morning stages on the first day, the car wasn't quick at all. He wasn't happy with it, he couldn't make it work. Went back to, obviously talked to the team, they adjusted the suspension. I think it was a little bit of Adrian, a little bit of the team. He came out with the car and said, this is a massive improvement. I've made the right decision. He gave him confidence in himself. The, the team gave him confidence in the car and he went out and just perfection. He was perfection. perfection. Let's hear from Adrian. I think we have been really clever on this rally uh, and in our approach uh, we have been seven on the, on the first loop of the rally and then finishing on the podium. Uh, really pleased that uh, the plan we had it was working properly, like pushing when it was clean and then really slowing down when it was rocky and rough. So yeah, but I, I have to say that uh, it deserves also to the team because we had no issue at all all the weekend with the car. Uh, they have been pushing quite hard since the, since Christmas to, to get the car really reliable this year and we had three events with no issue, especially here in Kenya. So we haven't even, we have changed only one time the bumper, but it's just a bumper. The rest it was, it was all in one piece every time, not even sometime loo something loose or whatever. It was just really good. Yeah, congratulations to the M Sport team. A, a wonderful result here on the Safari Rally. His teammate Gregoire Munster. Do you know, he's learning, George. He's learning and, and all of these things will be banked, will be experienced, will be something that they can call upon in the future, hopefully, to, to improve themselves, to improve their driving. Very, very much so. The, the, you can see the attitude and the, the personality, the thoughtful nature of Greg. Yeah, I think he can really move forward. Yeah, and what about the third of the M Sport? Ford cars. Jordan Cedris, I love that man. A man who has retired, I think, five or six times now. There's a hint that he'll be back yet again, I suspect, for Greece, George. I, I know everyone can, can look at Jordan and think, you know, 
Why is he driving that car? He, you know, I watched him on the first st first proper stage of the <laughs> rally, down through unbelievably bumpy, narrow, very, very high speed sections to tight braking with hazards in front if you get it yeah. wrong, tight through a gate. Again, if you got it wrong, you would tip the car. And you know what? He's doing 165 k kph down there. 100 mile an hour. And I am thinking to myself, yeah. wow, you know, that is something special. He's loving every minute of it. He's driving as fast as he can to enjoy it. Let's move on then to Hyundai. You know, we could spend all day talking about Hyundai. I, I think nothing short of a disaster, George. You, you, you in today's tight championship, you know, and it is really tight. The cars are very, you're very evenly matched. Yes. You cannot afford to have bogey rounds. They had one podium, Hyundai, in 2021. Two years, three years now since then, their best result is fifth on this event. They're not building a car nope. that's capable of dealing with the demands of the Safari Rally. That is not good enough. Is it that, Colin? Is it that, or is the car just being beaten to death by drivers? You, any driver can kill a car. I would say strategy and tactic is what we're with. I mean, they, they came out, they came out the, the, the starting blocks on this rally at the most ridiculously high speed. And they were the first ones to falter. Mm. And it was punctures, it was damage they did. You know, maybe there's nothing not so wrong with the car. No, I think there clearly is. You know, there, 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 there are issues there. There are issues. If you there. know those weaknesses, you deal with it. And Correct. you say, that's what we can do. You could have played your hand better than that. Come on. I totally agree, George. And, and you know, it's very difficult at the start of the event to mm. say we're going to play a conservative strategy here. But you've got three cars. Yeah. So one of them, for sure, can be conservative. You know, no. You've got concerns. Two of them. Two Colin. of them. Sorry. Okay, two of them can be conservative. Yeah. But honestly speaking, you know, get it together, guys. Mm. This event is. The, the, the Monte Carlo is the biggest tactical game that you can play left in the championship, and this is a very close second. Come on, yep. plan, work it out, pin it down. Yeah. You can do it. You It'll know, there's a great team, a fabulous cars, beautiful car, great drivers. Thierry Neuvel, peerless Otanak. on his day. You know, Ot Tanak, ridiculously quick. I want to see that team succeed. Yeah, so I mean, I. Thierry so Neuvel. What a lovely guy, he's always very kind to me. He now considers me to be the black widow of oh Safari Rally. Oh every time he sees me, talk to me yeah. this morning, said every time we see you, George, and talk to you, we have a problem the next time, and he did. Mm. Well, the good news for Thierry is that he's extended his lead in the championship. Yes. So, you know, that's the great thing about this new point system. You can have a really tough weekend and still score bucket loads of points. Well, WRC2, we were very much looking forward to a battle between Oliver Solberg and Gus Greensmith. That, unfortunately, went the wrong way on Friday with those three punctures for Oliver Solberg, but fair play to Gus Greensmith. Built a big lead on Friday, wasn't well at all Friday, Saturday. A little better today, he's held on to that lead, kept his focus. First outing of the year for Gus Greensmith and it's maximum points. I think final word has to go to the organisers off the ride, to the rally itself. You know, what are your thoughts on the way that this event has run? It's an, it's an an incredible feat to have uh, achieved, to have got such a mixture of fantastic textures mm. of the old w WRC Safari Rally into this compact format. The organisers and the, the team, every single marshal, an incredible job. The, the police of Kenya, new chief police here, has what a tr transformation, done a yeah. brilliant, brilliant job. So thank you to the, 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 the police chief as well. well. I've got to say, just reiterating what George said, thank you to everyone involved in the organisation. We are made to feel so welcome whenever we come to Kenya by everyone from the very highest people in government yes. right down to the fans at the thank side you. of the road. Thank you so, so much for welcoming us so warmly into your country and to your event. Folks, if you have missed anything this week, don't forget, you can scroll back. Dirtfish Live Centre, I think it's above me, isn't it? Right above there, press that button there, Dirtfish Live Centre. There are, George did some great videos, took some great pictures, there's some wonderful audio there for you. The whole story of Safari Rally Kenya is there for you to go and enjoy once again. It's well worth reliving, that is for sure. It has been wonderful, George, great to see you back again. Thank you for your, your wisdom and your insights and your occasional wit. Well, I, I, I have fun. Apparently, I talk too much, so <laughs> what, where does that leave Colin? Exactly. <laughs> the two of us together. Mm. Folks, thank you all very much for joining us this week at what has been a wonderful edition of the Safari Rally Kenya.